Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, my name is Saigen and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less equipment options, less class options, niche builds, less hit points and stronger enemies via a better advent and the good old a better chosen which is irrelevant because we killed all of the chosens by now. Anyways, time for the Codex Brain Coordinates Operation Crypt King which must be a synonym for Chrysalid King, because we're going to face quite a few Chrysalid Kings here. Those, those, like you have 20 enemies and they are um, entirely consistent out of Chrysalid Kings, <laughs> Archons and Codices. That's just a shitty um, setup to begin with. That means either of them can come up to 20 times or to seven, up to 17 times. Uh, which will hurt quite a bit. We don't need an EMP, but we will potentially have a proximity mine. Yeah, uh, having means to shred uh, the eye, uh, the gatekeeper will be good. And I wish I could take more healing devices with us because I can already foresee that chrysalids and their damage will be a huge problem. Additionally, Sandman might be a poor choice because we're going to uh, see a couple of borrowed chrysalids. So what I'm going to do here is we're actually... See, that's the cool part about niche builds. All of a sudden it's an everything goes type of, um, type of setup where if you if you work with the bottom of the barrel um, uh, type of uh, items which are pretty niche you find yourself in uh, thinking quite intensely about what you're actually bringing to the table so we do have two times ammunition i think there is no further ammunition for Durang's left over that's unfortunate uh, sandman can Restilled a few times. We got a um, couple of explosives. That's good. This here is against the the uh, potential gatekeeper. You could make an argument to go for a smoke bomb as well, but I don't see that we do have any any openings in our equipment. So we're just going with what we have, and the battle scanners are hopefully going to counter borrowed chrysalids. I don't know if chrysalid kings are borrowing, but I just assumed they might. Would. Fantastic, we just landed. Unfortunately, no reinforcements, so we're going in with only six units here. Back the codex point of origin, and I'm wondering why there is a building. That is rather atypical. Normally, you're just going from left to right and are trying to <clears throat> I go where you tell me. find all of the advents and the codices and, of course, many of the chrysalids. So, chrysalids are quite common on this map, as many of you should be aware, but definitely not chrysalid kings and most certainly not many of them. All right, Jurangs. Moves up go. as well. We're just double moving here, to be entirely honest. Long range movement. Going out. In right. position. Good. From now on, slower movements, and we're really, really carefully looking whether or not someone borrows. I assume we would see that. I assume we would. But that's not a guarantee. I am at your service. I have sight beyond vision. Oh, you must be kidding me, right? Hmm. Well, the borrowing is out of the window now. But this is going to be what was that um, uh, that trash movie called Space Bucks? The one where where uh, where um, soldiers are fighting against like okay. massive waves of aliens. I think it was Space Bucks. It it uh, almost feels like that. Cut. 
Copy that. Heading to that location. Good. Careful movement here. <coughs> Don't want to trigger anything. Chrysalid King plus Hunters. And this here seemed to be kind of a hunter killer. Those were the ones with the acid blood. Chrysalids can enter high ground whenever they like, so there is no point As you blocking the ladder. There is a point though in throwing a claymore and eventually killing them, but I need two actions for that. Order confirmed. On the move. Our spark takes the front. Because it is immune to poison. Mike the public. Uh, difficult if that guy comes back. This position would be exposed. Not yet. Kill zone might might be in order next turn. I would just like to stay here for now. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Scanning. Overwatching. Roger. I've got my eye on cross. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning for targets. Okay, let's hope. Uh, well, hope only gets you so far, as they tend to say. Armor deflection. Might lose our might lose our concealment here depending on how this uh, this year is going Not good. don't move close to the reaper i was deliberately placing him further back That was a good idea. And I would like to completely move away. Those are chrysalid hunters as well. Oh boy, that's going to be spicy. Toxic takes an A protocol just because I want him to be a target that is unattractive. Starting to shoot the chrysalid. Worked like a charm. That's a hundred percent hit. Should have done that first because we had the chance of actually killing it. Okay, not with minimum damage. So no harm, no foul here. Movement this required. here should Confirm. let us spot out this guy, right? Yeah, it does. Chrysalid King. Let's shred it. out so far uh, it's 9 to 11 and that would be straight up 11 but very low chance to hit this guy good maximum damage as far as the spark could deal that damage moving up I'm trusting you here Okay, what, what, who's his bond mate? Okay, we, we would have a second chance. This here is not going to work. Hail of bullets. Yeah, 
We're not taking any 92% chances. Definitely trying to hit it with all we got. And we're moving up even if that means we're being discovered. Are you kidding me? Back into back into scouting mode. And who would have guessed? Yet another chrysalid that is just running for us. Oh, there was another one back here. Oh boy, this map is going to be great. I'm Thoroughly enjoying the whole chrysalid uh, theme in the end game. I think most of them are from a mod called the Hive. Not 100% sure. Like I said, I'm not the expert on mods, but it. I, I think they might be from that mod. And for all I'm concerned, the variety and just also the strengths of them is well organized i like uh, i like the whole toughness part that they have um that they have added to the chrysalids I am on the, move. the acid blood definitely a nice little okay. uh, shake up that's a good ability heading to that location All right, tactical analysis for this guy Fortunately, he's a bit too close for comfort. Should have potentially not pulled him. Uh, we're keeping the flashbang. I do not want to use that yet. And what we can do is we can already shred him. Again, work like a charm. We're going to use our conceal to get us out of trouble. And since he has tactical analysis, he can only move once and no one is in range. Plus he's burning. He was of course looking for, uh, for the uh, operative there. They always operate based on the last position that they have seen. As I was saying, I think we're all well done with the chrysalids. They feel threatening, but not over two. The chrysalis, uh, chrysalid queen, maybe to a degree. Oh, look at that. We got the Archon King right over there. Who would have guessed? Let's make sure to take it out this time. Together with another Archon. Okay, cool. Like it. Confirmed. That's a perfect option. That's a perfect option for us, but... I would definitely like to have um, our Overdrive back, so... <laughs> we're effectively not going to engage. Not yet. There are more chrysalids down there. Alright, Overwatch, reload Overwatch, reload Overwatch, reload Overwatch, Overwatch. Overwatch. And we're just moving over here. That's highly unlikely that uh, someone is going to find us here. Unless, of course, there's another pack that's just gently strolling around. All set. 
Densely packed map. I like it. Yeah, we might be pulling those guys. Good, they should not clone, but first of all run for cover. As long as they are not in cover, they should not clone. But once they are in cover, they would clone. Like anything that's happening now would essentially make them clone themselves. Alright, so this should be 100% kill. Yep, even though it's a missed shot. Let's try Dead Eye because that could be a 100% kill against the Codex. Does not, um, does not hit. Unfortunate, but okay. Uh, again, gotta be a bit careful. Don't want to cluster up too much. Moving to here. Certainly not clustered up. That's an, a good chunk of hit points. On the move. Moving over. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think, no, they're not kidding you. Well, 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 what are we going to do? Are we going to use our first concealment here? I don't like the odds of it. I don't like two psychic bombs either. And I certainly don't like to be spotting out um, the Archon King. So we're just going to deal with both of these guys for now. The problem with the psychic bombs is they always... Oh, that is... I'm sorry, but that, my friends, is a big part of bullshit. Teleporting... From, from all of the points where they could have teleported to, they are now deciding to teleport, like, right here. Then using psychic, uh, psychic Bomb, which I was just alluding to, is a pretty substantial reduction in momentum. <laughs> okay, well, that's XCOM, baby, at, your fi uh, at the finest. Movement uh, triggers, by the way, were no longer at the we're no longer at the at the uh, primes these are the rulers and hence movement is triggering we could go for a kill zone which would in my book not trigger we also could go to just start hitting the the archon which is potentially the right thing to do he is now burning, so that's continuous damage. Every single round, he gets a reaction. They're on to me. And we're being spotted out. Unfortunate. Good. He now needs to hit, elsewise, we're in uh, deep trouble. Just a 60% chance. I think we're just going for combat protocol to be honest. Because 
We need the 100% uh, hit chance so that he's not slamming him to the ground. It's just falling damage. Archon continues to burn. Driving. And we need high damage. We need it kind of right now. Single movement. Do not give him. Putting ourselves di diagonally so we're not giving him cover. He's not yet done. Instead, we're looking at Devastate, which is going to deal quite a bit of damage. Also, also to the Codex over here. Can't immediately go into the shadows. The Codex is unfortunately pre uh, preventing that. We're okay. We can take one hit. Fifty fifty against him. It's not perfect, but it's the best we can currently do. I wish we would have retained our our stealth, but the crit is good. Oh, it's fantastic. He's going to flee now. Fantastic. We lost uh, a soldier to unconsciousness. This fight already was quite suboptimal. This here is a two for one. Oh wait, friendly fire. No, not good. No good, no bueno. Can't hit ourselves either. Wow, that is unfortunate. Oh, we're going to deal with that. I think we need to just let him get away. That is really, really tragic. I'm trusting you here. Good. We just didn't have it in us to to kill him this time. That's okay. It happens. Run and gun. Let's rock. Reloading. Secundo's <coughs> reloads as well, has another action. We're unfortunately... That's really tragic. We've um, lost one soldier due to being unconscious. That means our scouting just goes out of the window. Uh, teleportation, I think, does not trigger proximity mine. We could... 100%. You know what? Let's just kill the Codex. I hate it thoroughly. In my eyes, it was completely responsible for that whole me uh, mess up. Ran into us, and then it teleported right next uh, to the uh, Reaper, which I think uh, was highly unlikely to happen. Like, all out of all of the fields, how. Or why would you teleport next to the Reaper? That, yeah. I don't know. We're going to see another pack adding, which will just make uh, this mission a bit more difficult. And we may. This is a typical situation where you need to make sure that you're not tilting. Things are being okay. Uh, you just have a couple of unfortunate, um, unfortunate events happening can happen to everyone so no need to feel bad about that Good copy. Moving, on moving in 
as could kill and one shot codex Very well that's exactly what i was hoping for let's use common protocol uh, a protocol to make sure jerangs is fine hundred percent yeah i think we're going to take the hundred percent shot here just to get him nicely burned okay worked like a charm We could move and hail of bullet this guy. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I think what we should do is spread out, use the high ground to our advantage, and kill the Archon first. I would like to save Comet Protocol. We're instead moving down. Reloaded. And hopefully we can heal soon. And this is going to be kind of the typical uh, teleport in and then uh, psychic bomb up here. Shocker. I know. I placed them close to one another so that there wouldn't be a psychic bomb down here. Because uh, I did not want to trigger a psychic bomb on the unconscious that can't this move away. Dranks is good ish. Good ish. Fifty-five percent, or we're taking forty for an inch to kill. Bad eye for the win. Sometimes you just gotta take the slightly lower chances and get rewarded for it. Okay, so regroup, reforming. We lost a few explosives. We lost our outloaders. We certainly lost some health. Strengths is still in a rough shape and we lost an operative to <clears throat> to unconsciousness we're battered but not beaten as they say on the flip side we removed a lot of the threats for um, four of the <clears throat> archons Three plus two plus one, no, three plus one plus one, so five of the chrysalids, two additional archons, that's like four, six, and five, eleven. So we're, da uh, we're eleven down and a few more to go. Can't use teamwork, which would be great if we could um, hand over. I guess it'll be okay. The um, an ability to the, uh, to the unconscious. Intoxic, unfortunately, could only pick him up. That's really the only thing we can do at this point. What's over there? Reloading Mike. Back in business. Proceeding to target. Optical sensors on hold. Ranks is no more concealment so we can't use him as a as a scout which means we're going to do it the classical way which is scanning protocol all right got one down there we do have ever vigilance so moving will still lead to overwatch Secundus moves up if you say so 
Uh, that was a misclick, by the way. Wouldn't have changed anything. Yeah, we're just going to stay here for now. Pretty nasty chrysalid down there. I have to wonder, is this going to trigger? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Which means this would not trigger either. So much for the XCOM logic. Of course, this is going to trigger. Good, but he only has one movement, which means we nicely move back That's affirmative. and let him come. Perfect timing to place a unit live. down. And have that extra overwatch. Three overwatches, thanks to ever vigilant. Well, that's a miss. That's a miss. And that's a hit. Okay, cool. Well, not the worst. Not the best either. We're slowly but surely um, chugging our way through this monstrosity here good we're reloading and then it's hail of bullets time marking it and killing it at the same time okay cool well one down thousands to go reload overwatch reload overwatch there's another one down there gotta be careful but we're eventually going to get it next turn. The problem is if they patrol the ledge, um, <coughs> it's really easy for us to get too close or too cocky and then end up pulling multiples. Why am I even saying that? Think about it, Saiken. You are always predicting what's going to happen. How about you predict something flawless uh, the next time? Eighty-six percent. Yeah, we got to deal with that. Let's mark it. <coughs> Even if that means we're not getting the entire uh, damage on it because it's not shredded yet. Good, we still got the overdrive. Tepper continues to move back. We'll get ever vigilant overwatch out of him. Secundo's overwatches. We're certainly overwatching here. We don't have long watch, unfortunately, but that's still three overwatches. Good enough for now. Tactical analysis prevents him from reaching us, so that's why we can even do that tactic. Nice. He's shredded. One more hit and he's toast. Well, one more hit is a lot to ask for XCOM. Interestingly enough, we did not hit him. Pepper moves up. Come on. 80% is a no-no. What's our sniper going to say to that 90%? Okay, I want to make sure that this is not going to become kind of a meme. Well, we're missing all of the 80 and 90% shots, so we're actually going to mark him. And even if this would have missed, we would have had a 100% hit. 
like the public bravo moves up Double time. Moving to designated coordinates. and we're slowly but surely moving up as well i think i want overdrive back those uh, things are quite tough and we're down to five operatives uh 13 down five more to go Still. Picking up the Reaper. Green to go. Reload, 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 and Overwatch. Rock and roll. Ready to go. Reload. Overwatch oh, covering now. active. Hold it. All right nothing so far i think it's a good time to maybe use one of our battle scanners like the public moves up put the unit down i hate unconscious Operatives. That's, by the way, guys, why you're always, and I mean always, skilling stabilization protocol. This is just ridiculous. And also so unnecessary if you think about it. If you have stabilization protocol, yeah, he's unconscious, but so what? Nothing is happening. But yeah, on Reddit, I think one of the most often uh, debated topic is why would you ever take a specialist in those missions? You're so much better off with not using one. Sure. Roger that. What's over there? Heading out. Because as we have seen, Unfortunate circumstances never happen in XCOM, that's completely unheard of. You never are running in a situation where the AI randomly decides to teleport right next to your only concealed uh, concealed operative, mind you with one uh, field of spotting distance. And you then find yourself in a situation where you are being spotted out, are triggering two additional packs and just gotta kind of live with that. I would assume uh, the same Redditors um, would then argue, well, in that case, you're just reloading. And I guess there is a truth to it if you're not playing Iron Man. Um, things like the stabilization protocol or healing protocol are substantially less effective, so to speak, simply because you do not need to deal with the RNG. You can essentially just reload and find a uh, an execution of actions that is suitable for you Hold still. Done. move to there we are 14 down and it's four more to go one of which most likely is going to be the gatekeeper so three more to go maintaining position Okay, time for a scanning protocol. I just want to make sure we generally know the area. Nothing. Just try to figure out where are the last enemies. All right, what exactly is that? It seems like maybe a queen or is that another king? No, it's potentially a queen. Interesting choice, by the way, to put the queen right next to where the gatekeeper is going to spawn. 
Oh, that's just hilarious. Okay, this might trigger, but should not trigger the gatekeeper. Okay, it does not trigger, all right. Let's move over here. Secundos potentially needs a different spot. Overwatch. Eyes On Overwatch. Cover it. Overwatch. I want to use the high ground once uh, the gatekeeper is coming in. An optimal scenario together with overdrive so that we have the high ground shots and can shred that gatekeeper. So Jaranx is going to be the one that is moving in. Is that really the smartest play? Well, we do have a flashbang which sort of needs close uh, proximity, so can't really let him stand back. And we have run and gun. Go, go, go. So we could get into a really nice position here. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Hey, you hear anything? Stand fast. I assume they're not going to rush into us. I think that would be, a be asking a bit too much. Good this copy. should not trigger the Overwatch gatekeeper. Target. Doesn't trigger them either. Oh damn it. That is there is a tension here. Scanning. Got it covered. Overwatch mode. Got it covered. Nice field. There's something out there. Stand by. I need high ground for the gatekeeper, but I think it won't come out far enough for the spark to see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the spark over here. That way, it can jump on top of that high ground with an overdrive and at least get two shots off, which is six um, shredding. As you can see, I'm concerned about the gatekeeper. This here is full cover, not a bad full cover. It's going to trigger the entire bunch. I'm not sure what we were expecting. Oh, it's a normal gatekeeper, not a gatekeeper prime. Very good. Chef kiss. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. You might be screwed. All right, flashbang. Flashbang. Everybody's disoriented, and the queen is immune, or what? Yep, it's a queen. Fantastic. But the queen still should have tactical analysis. Overdrive it here. as far away as possible. Yeah, those guys are all fun and good, but we gotta deal with you. The real villain here. Rocket launcher might kill that small one, so that gives us good action economy and will shred on top. Plus 100% hit chance is good. Did not shred as much as a shot, but it still did a good job.
We are in half cover, that's not good. If the eye cannon comes out, we might regret that. Acid bomb uh, to get rid of the entire the entirety. I mean, you could go for proximity mine, kill all of the, those fools. But you might give uh, the queen another spawn by doing that. Not sure if that's the greatest idea. 100% on the gatekeeper. 75%. The chance to crit him. I think we're just going with plain damage. 100% can't argue with that. And we are setting it on fire. That's a nice crit. That was actually a good shot. Good, we're now left with the option to kill the gatekeeper and I think that's exactly what we should do. I was focusing on getting it down. We did exactly that. Used everything on it. At the same time, we now have disoriented chrysalids that also have tactical analysis. Chrysalid poison, we should be immune to uh, to that. Yeah, we're immune uh, to chrysalid poison. Can we hit multiples is, I think, the question. This here is like six to seven damage, not a kill, but pretty decent overall damage. Better than not using it and we're going to shred everything. So this should thin them out quite substantially. We gotta pull the front line back and just get all of them nicely um, nicely ready into kill range. I am thinking about kill zone. Moving all the way back. Two, four, six. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Hunters down, and we got Implaceable out of it. Fantastic. Moving up there. Thank you. Crystal Poison is a poison, so poison spread if you're standing next to someone. Keep that always in mind, as it could mean that you find yourself uh, poisoning one of your teammates. They do not have any ranged attacks as far as I'm concerned. So again, this here is a no-brainer. Good, we're moving further back. The crawler really doesn't mean anything. Let's try to get the hunter down. Hunters down to 1 HP, I suppose. Yeah, I wanted to use kill zone, but I think we're instead just ensuring that the hunter definitely dies. Drop him. Good, death from above. Uh, that allows us at least a little bit of overwatch, so that's good. Nice little disengagement here. I can see how this is going. This is a DPS test. She's just trying to spit out more and more of these things. X -ray down. I 
Good. We're barely moving in range. This might be a kill. Targeting that hunter. And with it, we're taking in place a bull too. Go back. Like the charm. Toxic moves over here. We are at a maximum distance here. Not something that a shotgun is particularly good at. Proceeding to target. And we're now slowly but surely going to take down the queen. This should spawn another one of her little buggers. Okay, cool. And that guy dies. We're taking the chance to reload. Next turn we're going to... Oh, free reload. Okay, good. Overwatch it is. Okay, do we have... No, we don't. But we got Bombard, and Bombard is not a bad skill. Reloading. In progress. And that's a three for one. Well, I could see how Theoretically speaking, you could farm uh, these things for quite a while. Good. We're going to do exactly that. Proximity mine just looks too good. She's the last uh, enemy on the map. As soon as someone moves, proximity mine should go off. Maybe even with a berth, who knows. So that thing is already dead, which means we can now hit that queen. 80% uh, unfortunately miss, I wanted to hit her really good. This here is bringing Dranks into reach. Shotguns on this distance are not good, but if they hit, they hit really well. And the birth has essentially killed her. <laughs> Alright, birth counts as movement and the proximity mine has done what it is supposed to do. Oh, what a mission. Oh, what a mission. Not bad overall. So that indeed was more difficult than I was expecting, but we got two promotions out of it. First, Secundus um, now gets challenging field. Every time you're targeted, you're going to um, charge up. And we got Restoration here for Tapper, who has done a superior job during that operation. Got that psionic gate. New objectives added. In order to analyze the alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first, Commander. Okay, fair enough. Uh, where's Tapper? Right here. Did he get a great ability? No, he did not. But boy, boy, he's... Uh, Reliable and good resource. I really like. 
I really like what he's doing. These discoveries of the elders' horrific Fifteen saturation fire twenty-five. Uh, saturation fire twenty-five. Um, saturation fire is good uh, for a skirmisher, but uh, we didn't want it to uh, to use any of the XCOM abilities. Rapid fire, however, is too good to pass by, and run and gun for a sniper implacable the sniper here is fantastic by the way arguably even better uh, due to the abilities than jessica jessica is uh, that as well she has holo targeting but she doesn't have run and gun and um, and implacable implacable is really good together with the weapon but we're not going to change uh, the prime team the prime team is the prime team and will remain the prime team it's good enough to go through the um, uh, through the entire campaign we there is a UFO that's hunting us fantastic we need to upgrade the chamber here sonic gate oh, that's good and are we currently researching something no, we're not. Are we researching something here? Yeah, reinforced heavy armor. Good. We also got the plus one to beam weapons. We got some nice breakthroughs in this run. All of the weapons have plus one damage, and the the plasma weapons also got plus one. Avenger new Good, let's hope we're not getting shut down. A UFO defense mission would ne not necessarily be what I want to play right now. I want to easily go through the storyline missions and just enjoy our, our really well-planned retirement. Plasma Blaster, that's a good one. Plasma Blaster only has a small range if I'm not mistaken like a very uh, straight line but it deals a lot of damage so what we're going to do since that's a niche weapon I like it 7 to 10 far as your plasma blaster beam of devastating energy in straight line yep that's exactly it so we're going to run secundos with the plasma blaster cool worked um, out pretty well do we still have any more cores? Yes, we do. What are we going to do with them? Hmm. Let's see. We still could use a flamethrower because we haven't had that yet. We could use another war suit <coughs> because those are fun as well. We could use another ref suit, but you guys have seen those quite a, a quite a, a bit in my normal campaigns. But those are fantastic for snipers. So we could definitely use that. Difficult to say. I mean, war suit plus uh, flamethrower would be nice. Let's try to go for a flamethrower. It's unfortunate that you got to keep on trying and you're eventually going to be lucky or you're not. Good. We got bond training completed. That is great. Which kind of tells me, nope, no more bond training. Okay. Potentially, whoever was able for bond training is currently injured. And uh, there are a couple of guerrilla missions. So retaliation countered by two weeks. Not the worst. Hidden event. Mm. Ah, to protect the device mission, I do not feel like doing that. Return fire might be nasty. Spectre Prime. Elite Lancer, Gatekeeper, hopefully not a Gatekeeper Prime. Mamba, Archon. Um, You know what, why not? I mean, this is uh, one of those missions where there is a timer involved. Uh, it's actually quite meaningful, the transmitter is always a race against the time so maybe we're just going to do that in in the next mission alternatively 
hacking the station. We don't need an engineer, really. What's the reward here? Intel? Yeah, we can work with Intel. Okay, we're going to do that uh, mission uh, the next time, most likely. And uh, then we're continuing, once the reinforced heavy armor is done, we're continuing our research here. Black Side Vial, Sound and Gate, and then eventually the Avatar um, Autopsy. We're starting with the Black Side Vial, because that leads us to another um, mission, another Golden Path mission. The Psionic Gate and the Avatar Autopsy are just necessary means to get to uh, the last mission. And other than that, it seems good. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a, a like and a comment down below. That helps uh, and pleases the YouTube algorithm and makes me happy. And we're seeing each other in two days. Bye-bye.